Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Ramya Jairam, Fertility Specialist and Endogynic Surgeon at Women's Centre by Motherhood, Coimbatore. So the topic we're going to discuss today is something that affects a lot of women and that is adenomyosis and endometriosis. So these conditions are usually those that come together and they cause a lot of problems for women in terms of affecting their quality of life by causing heavy or menstrual bleeding, severe pain either before or during their periods and also related to uh, difficulty conceiving. So almost one in five women are affected by this condition and the numbers are only growing. What are the causes for this? We do not know but a lot of it is associated with a woman's genetic tendency to develop endometriosis and adenomyosis some say that women who have fibroids have a risk of developing this as well. There are studies that show that women who have higher estrogen levels in the body have a tendency to develop these conditions. And again, whether it is the chemicals that we consume or it is in, our, uh, in the food that we eat, we do not have an exact answer for what causes these conditions to come. So what is the difference between the two? So adenomyosis is basically is a condition that comes in the uterus where every month when a woman sheds her endometrial lining as her periods, a few cells go back in reverse and they get deposited in the body of the uterus. And this over a period of time, over a number of cycles that a woman has in her lifetime, slowly accumulates in the body of the uterus and causes the body of the uterus to swell and become thicker and this increases the surface area of the uterus and causes her to have heavy bleeding either in the form of clots or she can have irregular bleeding that is bleeding that happens between one period and another. So what, how does this condition cause a woman to have difficulty conceiving? These cells go and get deposited just below the lining where the embryo implants and grows and this affects the blood flow that goes to the embryo at the time of implantation and this can be the main reason why a woman with adenomyosis has difficulty conceiving. What is the difference between adenomyosis and fibroids? A fibroid is a condition where it arises from the cells which are present in the body of the uterus itself and it is usually it starts as small as a grain of rice and it slowly grows bigger and bigger and it is very commonly seen like a big ball when you do an ultrasound or an MRI scan. Whereas an adenomyosis will not be seen like that. An adenomyosis will only be seen as the entire wall being thick and it cannot, you cannot define the extent to which adenomyosis is present. So that is the main difference between fibroids and adenomyosis. So what is endometriosis? So the same cells that shed out during a woman's cycle, it can go back in reverse, it can go back through the fallopian tube and it can go out and get deposited either in the body of the uterus or it can get deposited in the ovaries or in all the organs which are surrounding the uterus and every month she bleeds there as well. And this blood can accumulate there and it can cause cysts in the uterus which is called endometriotic cyst or very commonly called as chocolate cyst. These cells with that deposit outside the uterus or in the multiple other organs can cause a woman to have very bad pain because it irritates the nerves and this pain can persist either it will start before her periods, it can persist during and even after her cycles are done. So what are the various options of treatment for a woman who has adenomyosis and endometriosis and she's wanting to conceive. So the current science out there says that for a woman who's trying to conceive, treating adenomyosis and endometriosis medically is not really helpful because it doesn't do away with the condition, it only reduces the symptoms and maybe it will reduce the size of what is there very marginally but it doesn't do away with the condition which is a main factor behind infertility or difficulty conceiving. So for a woman who has either grade uh, 1 or grade 2 endometriosis, which is very mild form of endometriosis, trying to conceive in the form of some sort of help, with, uh, either in the form of an IUI or adding on injections to help 
multiple eggs grow and then doing an IUI may be helpful. But for a woman who has grade 3 or grade 4 endometriosis, which is a more severe form of endometriosis, there is no role for naturally trying, there is no role for taking tablets just to make her eggs grow and for them to try naturally or doing an IUI. In that scenario, going for an IVF cycle where we completely try and suppress the adenomyosis and endometriosis for a period of few months, reduce the inflammation associated with the condition and then transferring an embryo inside has found to have much better results in comparison to other treatment modalities.